Hi. So let us understand the ray diagram for the concave and the convex mirrors. Now consider a concave mirror. In this diagram, O represents the center of the concave mirror, F indicates the focus of the concave mirror and C is the center of the curvature. The distance OC is 2 times the focal length. Now when the object is placed at infinity, the rays coming through the object are parallel to each other. In fact, they are parallel to the principal axis. And all the rays which are parallel to the principal axis gets reflected in such a way that they pass through the focus. So the image formed is at the focus and it is a point image. If the object is brought closer to the mirror but beyond C, you can see the rays which are parallel to the principal axis gets reflected in such a way that they pass through the focus. The incident ray which goes on the center gets reflected at the same angle to the principal axis. Whereas the incident ray which passes through the focus gets reflected in such a way that it is parallel to the principal axis. Now you can see all the rays which gets reflected intersect at a point which is between the focal length and the center of curvature. Hence the image formed is on the same side of the object. It is inverted and the size is smaller. It's diminished. Now, when we bring the object even closer, that is on the center of curvature, you can see the rays which are parallel to the principal axis pass through the focus. The rays going to the center gets reflected at the same angle and the rays which pass through the focal length gets reflected in such a way that it is parallel to the principal axis. Hence, the image formed will be exactly at point C itself. It is inverted and it is of the same size. Now we will bring the object even further closer to the mirror. You can see the rays get reflected in such a way that the image formed is beyond C. It is inverted and it is enlarged. Now if the object is placed at the focal length, the reflected rays do not intersect or you can say that they intersect at infinity. Hence you can say the image is formed at infinity. When you bring the object even closer, you can see the rays get diverged. Now, if they get diverged, we can extend them to the opposite side and you can see they can intersect on the opposite side of the object. So the image formed is erect, it is enlarged and it is virtual. Now let's talk about the convex mirror. If the object is placed at infinity, the rays actually get diverged in such a way that if we extend them to the opposite side, they intersect at the focal length. Hence, the image formed is at focus, it is virtual and it's a point image. If the object is brought closer to the mirror, again the rays diverge. The rays which are incident at the center of curvature gets reflected in exactly the opposite direction. And so, if we extend those rays on the opposite side, you can see the image formed is between the center and the focus. As the image formed is diminished, it is smaller in size, it is virtual and it is erect. So, no matter where the object is placed, in case of a convex mirror, the image is always a virtual image and it is erect.